Um, um, is a picture of me crying um, in, in like a little thought bubble. It says, from a coach, you look a mess. The stories of abuse in British gymnastics are no surprise to Mel Brown. When she was just 10, she drew these pictures, the only way a child could express the way her coach made her feel. I used to get called a mess. You're a mess. Why can't you do it like this other gymnast? Why can't you look like this other gymnast? It was my life. Um, and they took every part of happiness out of that. I couldn't um, concentrate when I was at school because I was so... I was withdrawn, weren't I? And yet she even hid it from her mum, afraid of losing her place in the team. She says she was mocked for being partially deaf, routinely shouted at and embarrassed. There would be a rule that you could only wear shorts three times a week. I hated it, especially if it was time of the month that I had my period or something. And sometimes I'd say, oh, can I just wear my shorts today? Is, is that time? And it'd be like, no, the rule is three times a week. And I think as we were getting older, um, the coach didn't have as much control over us. And I think that was her way of bringing control back. Three years ago, Mel's mum, Tracy, compiled a dossier of complaints she'd made to the club and sent it to British Gymnastics, saying this. My daughter has been humiliated, criticised, called names, been made fun of. This is emotional abuse. She was told her concerns had been reviewed with the club and appropriate action taken, but there was something missing. It was just like, we've given the club guidance, we've done this, we've done that. There wasn't one thing that came back to me that apologised for how my daughter was made to feel. Would you like to apologise for those gymnasts whose lives were ruined? This is British Gymnastics Chief Executive Jane Allen. Do you regret presiding over a culture of bullying? She's been in her job for 10 years, but had no comment when approached by ITV News today. I think they need to get her out and make a new start. I think they need to make a full new start. Yeah. Everyone out and everyone else in new. British Gymnastics didn't send us a specific response to Mel's story, but it says it's determined to get to the bottom of gymnasts' concerns and an independent QC will conduct a review into them. Mel says her experience left her feeling suicidal. She's now training to be a nurse, having given up gymnastics for good. Ben Chapman, ITV News. Our sports editor, Steve Scott, is here. And, Steve, you broke the story on Monday. It's gained traction throughout the week, hasn't it? More people coming forward. And what we're seeing is that these allegations really at every level of gymnastics. Yeah, absolutely, right across the board. We heard today from two British Olympic stars of the sport, sisters Becky and Ellie Downey. Uh, Becky, a European and Commonwealth champion. Ellie, also a European champion. They bared their souls on social media about their experiences growing up in gymnastics, saying abusive behaviour was so ingrained in their lives it became normalised, a common theme this week. Uh, Ellie also addressed another familiar issue, a gymnast's weight, saying that she was told by a nutritionist to provide photo evidence of everything that entered her mouth and send daily pictures of me in my underwear to ensure I wasn't lying. She added, to this day, we still hide food for fear of being found. Now, the British Gymnastics Chief Executive Jane Allen, as you just saw, wasn't speaking to us today, but she did write a letter to gym club members. In that letter, she described this week as incredibly difficult and went on to say she was appalled and ashamed at the story she has heard. She also talked about fundamental issues within the gymnast coach relationship, something that I don't think will go down too well with the many good coaches out there who will see that potentially as her already pointing the finger of blame.